Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to have a very casual sit down and just offer you the best tip I could possibly offer in terms of zero waste and how I wish I'd known this at the beginning of my journey. But firstly, I just wanna thank Squarespace for sponsoring this video. I really appreciate your support, but more of them at the end. Let's talk about my favorite and my biggest tip to go zero waste. So I wanted to do this in a more casual kind of way because I don't want you to feel stressed or anxious or like you're not doing enough or not you're not good enough in terms of your journey to zero waste. And I wanted to offer you the one tip that I personally think is the most crucial in terms of being successful on your zero waste journey. Obviously, it's important to understand why, why you're going zero waste and, you know, it's important to have stuff available to you and all the kind of, that kind of stuff. But I think the most important thing I can offer you and the most important thing that I have found is actually your attitude and your behavior. Lots of people look at zero waste and they think that it's an impossible task and it's something that is incredibly difficult and Yes, it's not easy. I'm not going to sit here and pretend like it's an easy thing to do. And it's taken me years to get to the point that I'm at now. But that's because I didn't quite realize the most important thing. As we grow up, we are taught certain things, you know, certain behaviors. And we also learn these behaviors from our peers, from our parents, siblings, and from the people around us, from YouTube, everything. And it's quite hard to unlearn those types of behaviors. And so when you come to the zero waste lifestyle, you're suddenly faced with all of this kind of contradictory information about the way that you currently live your life. You're suddenly faced with every choice that you make and every decision that you make every single day has consequences that you never imagined was a problem before or you ne you weren't you didn't have your eyes open to it because ev it's so normalized to go to the shop and buy stuff in plastic packaging because that's just how things come and it's very convenient and it's very easy and it means that you can buy whatever you want from any country around the world and that's just how we live Plastic is a wonderful and convenient material that was created for us to have an easier life. And yet we don't realize the consequences that that plastic is gonna have on not only marine life, not only on our oceans or our planet, but also the other people that are the ones who have to suffer the consequences of what happens when that toxic plastic waste starts to burn. And so I fully understand that it's an incredibly hard thing. And when we go zero waste, I put that in inverted commas because it's a very, very long journey. Immediately, our thoughts are, right, I need to buy mason jars, I need to buy a water bottle, I need to buy cotton bags, I need to buy a lunchbox, I need to buy this and this and this and this. And I did this. I bought all the mason jars in the world. I bought so many cotton bags. I didn't even think to reuse what I already had, to make bags myself out of old clothes that I've already used and I can't wear again. And it's because I didn't change my behavior or my attitude towards consumerism. I engaged in consumerism to become zero waste, which is an oxymoron in itself. The most important thing to remember is that you're in control of the way you perceive things. And it's so important that you try and unlearn the way you perceive and the way you accept things like packaging into your life. Obviously I can sit here and it's easy for me to say that I don't have to buy food and packaging anymore because I have a zero waste shop near me. I don't have to do this anymore because I live in London and I have this convenient to me. But changing your behavior is something that everyone can do. Changing your perception of what you actually need and don't need and what adds value to your life and doesn't is something that everyone can do. Food waste in your own home is something that everyone can look at and consider. Really, am I going to waste this food and I'm going to put it in the bin because 
I didn't meal prep properly so that has gone off or I made too much food and I don't have the right kind of or I can't be bothered to put it in a Tupperware and put it in the kitchen in their fridge sorry changing our behavior and making sure that we actually value that food that we buy we value it so much that we're going to plan out our meals and we're going to make sure that if we don't finish it we're going to put it away so that we can eat it another time that's something that everyone can do and that everyone can try and implement into their lives we are obviously completely and utterly you know dependent on the foreign information that keeps popping up into our minds and into our brains from advertising everywhere from what people tell us constantly we are being fed information about different things and how good something is and how bad something is but what's important is to try and kind of get yourself away from these outside forces and try and sit down and think about actually what what is in my control what can I do with my behavior my attitude to ensure that I am wasting less and one thing that I've come to realize since I'm doing this no spend challenge this year who I just want to give a shout out to, Nelia Rose. I watched her YouTube channel and she's the person who inspired me to do this no spend year. So go and check her out if you're interested in no spending and minimalism and zero waste. Um, oh, damn, I hate it when I do that because I've now lost my tangent. Yeah, no, I've got it, I've got it, I've got it. Have I? I think I have, I think I've got it. Yeah, so doing this no spend challenge has made me realize that one of the best things that you can do for zero waste living is to stop consuming, stop buying things in general. We get too wrapped up about, you know, like zero waste being about food and food waste and packaging waste around our food because that's something we do every day. But we also consume every day. We also buy new things that we think that we need that we actually don't need at all. And it's by doing this no spend challenge that I've realized how much I was still engaging in consumerism and engaging in, you know, the first hand um, market rather than reusing what I already have, going to the second hand market, making sure that I was perpetuating a circular economy rather than just a linear one. And that's that's the biggest thing for me is changing my behavior towards consumerism and buying things. And obviously the world goes round by buying things and you know helping small businesses. And that's just the way the world works. But I've decided to try and trade skills. So I'm a photographer and I'm currently trading skills for other skills. So say, for example, I'm helping one of my friends do some stuff for a skill swap. And that's something that you could choose to do. Yeah, my biggest tip is always going to be to change your behavior and to change your attitude towards the stuff that you're consuming because you can go out and you know buy all of these things to be zero waste or you can have all the supermarkets around you that offer unpackaged stuff. But unless you change your attitude towards stuff and buying things and to change your behaviors you can never really fully be zero waste or kind of engage in that zero waste lifestyle because you're still helping the linear economy rather than creating a circular one anyway if you want more information on this kind of stuff feel free to ask me questions in the section below but the whole but the whole point of this is to try and alleviate some concerns that you might have because you might think that you can't go zero waste because you don't have food markets next ne near you or any of that kind of stuff but it all starts with yourself and the way that you perceive things and the way that you approach things so if you start by thinking I'm going to change the way I think about consumerism and how I'm consuming and I'm going to actually think about what I can take control of that's going to be your biggest asset because instead of choosing to buy a bag of bananas that are shipped from across the world you might choose a bag of apples that are shipped from two miles away from you rather than halfway across the world that's still going to be a better choice even if it's in packaging so you have to think about what you can control what you're happy to stop consuming and unlearn some of those behaviors that we've learned throughout our years of being here that are completely detrimental not only to our own you know ourselves probably even our self-esteem and how we view ourselves in the world and also the planet and the animals and our fellow beings so that's my biggest tip that's my biggest thing and I will always say that and I will always hold on to that because that's what's truly changed 
me and my habits and my approach to zero waste. So yes, I just wanted to bring that out and sort of talk to you guys about that. So if that's something that interests you, of course, please let me know any questions you have in the comment section below. But yeah, that's it from me. Um, I just want to give another big thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. If you're interested in a free trial and 10% off your first purchase, I'll put the link in the description down below. I'm currently building my website with Squarespace, which is really exciting because they're an all-in-one platform, which means there's nothing I have to install, patch or upgrade ever. And they take the onus of that. And it's great to have a platform that's really specifically orientated towards creatives like myself or musicians or even restaurants and supermarkets. So yeah, feel free to check them out if you're interested in building your own website and I will be sure to keep you updated as to when my website is coming out. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and if any of you are on a zero waste challenge or anything like that, I wish you good luck and I hope that you're learning something and you're getting a lot out of it. And I hope to see you guys soon. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.